So what is a healthy diet plan for weight loss? In this video, I'm gonna go over five tips on how to make sure that your diet plan is healthy and is going to be effective, or how to choose a diet plan or craft a diet plan to help you with your fat loss. Coming up. What is up, For Faith family? Thank you for tuning in and watching the video. If you are new around here, I talk about fat loss and weight loss and how to get you to your goals. That is it. That is all we care about is helping you reach your weight loss and fat loss goals. So again, thank you for tuning in. If you are new, subscribe to the channel, like the video, comment on the videos, let me know what you think of them, and I can keep bringing you good and better content to help you reach your goals. So let's go ahead and jump right on into it. Well, tip number one is to not make any massive sacrifices on any one thing thing or any food group. And that is typically what diets involve in the first place, which is why many of them are unhealthy. So I don't want you kicking out an entire food group like carbs. That is a very common one. Or an entire food even like pizza or pie or cake or whatever it is. I mean, a lot of people are like, no more ice cream. And you know, is not having ice cream going to be unhealthy? No. But over the long term, if you're not going to stick to that diet because you kicked out something that you absolutely love, that's going to be less healthy to do that as well. And so over the long term to help you stick to a diet, because that's the best diet for you is the one you can stick to, you have to include times for things like ice cream or pizza or whatever it is. Tip number two is to get enough protein. And you hear people talk about protein all the time, but you never hear exactly why. And I think a lot of people don't even really know the reason why they just heard eat protein, eat protein, eat protein. And so the main reason that you want to eat protein for a healthy diet on your fat loss, for one, is that by definition, you're dieting, so you are malnourished. Or by, by definition, dieting is malnourishment, right? You cannot maintain the way you are with what you're eating, so your body changes due to being malnourished. And this is a, a good thing, but we wanna make sure that we're getting enough protein. So I always like my clients to take their protein a little bit over where it needs to be when they're losing weight. When they're gaining weight, it's actually reversed. Most people think you need more protein when you're trying to gain muscle. You need more protein when you're trying to lose weight. I like my clients to stick to somewhere around each person's individual. So you have to make sure this matches you, but somewhere around 40, 30, 30 in terms of their macro split. So 40% carbs, 30% protein, 30% fat. Sometimes the protein Rarely, but sometimes the protein goes higher. Sometimes the fat can go lower if a person uh, just struggles with, with overall calories. And then carbs definitely can go higher if they're a really active individual. If they're working out six days a week and they're working out hard, and I know that for a fact, then we'll bump that up to 50%. The more active you are and the more high intensity exercise you do, the more carbs you're gonna need. Do not fear carbs. It goes back to uh, the first tip. Do not fear carbs. It is perfectly healthy to have a good number of carbs. Tip number three is to make your proteins lean. So you wanna eat things like chicken, turkey, fish, Fish might have some fat in it, but it's healthy fat. More on that later. So chicken, turkey, and fish. Uh, you're looking for things like skim milk if you're consuming milk um, or the uh, the skim uh, cottage cheese or something like that. You're looking for part skim mozzarella. So those might not be proteins, but you are looking to keep the animal products lean. Um, and, and you know, we're going to go over fats here in just a second, but you don't want too many of the bad fats. At the same time, you don't want to be scared of the cholesterol and stuff. Number four is to get plenty of good fat. Now you have to remember your macro. So you're still shooting for around 30% fat, maybe even less, maybe 20% fat or something like that. Wherever your macros fall, you're still shooting for that. But you want your fats to be things like avocados, olive oil, um, fats from fish, uh, omega-3s and, and fish, uh, fish pill supplements, um, or fish oil supplements, sorry. And without fat, you will not lose fat. So do not be scared of fat. Just make sure they're healthy, which will be good for your heart at the same time, and you'll knock out two birds with one stone. Tip number five, and this one's kind of fun. Not a lot of people know this, although I do think it's becoming a little bit more common knowledge, and it is make your week a color wheel for vegetables. So what I do in my house is I try to make Mondays like red, like, you know, we're having red veggies or fruit. This applies to fruit as well um, on Mondays or uh, Tuesdays will be yellow, Wednesdays will be orange, so on and so forth. And so you pick a different color and you try to cycle through those, you know, eventually you'll hit purple and blue and, and all the different colors, purple and blue are kind of the same. But the reason that vegetables are the color they are is because of the nutrients inside of them. Um, they didn't just pick a color. Uh, so things high in vitamin C, for instance, tend to be orange, carrots, oranges, um, orange bell peppers, and that is my, that could almost be a tip on its own, this little part, a kind of a cool bonus tip, 
bell peppers. If you like peppers, and most people do, just because they're they're really kind of tasteless, they just give that edge, that flavor to something. Uh, but there's purple bell peppers, orange, yellow, red, green. I don't know of any else, but right there you got five. And that is a good way of guaranteeing that you get a variety of nutrients because I've heard of people just going lean and green, right? Lean proteins and anything that's green. And don't get me wrong, that's a good way to start, a good way of not overwhelming a person at first, but you need more than just green. You can't just have broccoli and spinach and you know different types of lettuce and green beans. You're gonna be getting a lot of the same nutrients. A and K is one of the main things, vitamin A and K is one of the main things you're gonna be getting. So vary it up, get different colors. Don't be overly stressed about it. You don't have to have a different color every single day of the week, but whenever you're at the grocery store, just try to pick up things that are going to be various colors um, and just you know look at your grocery cart and just be like, I have a lot of red stuff in there. I'm gonna go for something green and you know I don't have any yellow, so I'm gonna get something yellow. And this applies to fruit too, so you can really mix it up and uh, make sure you're getting all your nutrients. Well, that is all for today's video, guys. If you liked what you saw, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. Our main goal is to get you out of that cycle of self-hate, self-loathing, where you try the next diet, next diet, next diet, and you keep failing and you feel like it's you, but it's not really you and you don't really know that. So that is our goal, is to help you end that cycle. And you can do it. You can reach your goals. So please subscribe to the channel. Stick with us. I'm going to try and teach you as much as I can. If you are ready to start your your fitness journey, head over to fourfaithfitness.com. That's the number four, faithfitness.com to start your free two-week trial. It's completely free. You may as well try. It's online training done through an app on your smartphone with exercise videos, daily contact with me. And it's about the cost of two personal training sessions for a whole month. And so it's extremely affordable and doable for a, a long commitment, which ends up equaling you finally ending this struggle that you've dealt with your whole life. So I would love to help you there. Have a great rest of your day, guys. God bless.